Hello everybody and welcome back to more Pokemon Insurgents! Last time, we made it to the Pokemon League! This time, we will be challenging the Elite Four. In between episodes, I made major changes to the team. I grinded it. First off, Mew. Is, well, honestly the exact same. And as well, we got four new team members. Del Delta Vespaquin. Steel Fire type, I gave it the Life Orb. Now, I got it on the Hing Grotto in Route 9. Now, Levitate is the big reason why I want this. Having... Yeah, that only makes it have, like, only two weaknesses, water and fighting. Making this thing probably one of our best Pokémon we have available. I also EV trained all the new team members. Maxing out in the and the stats I think will be most important to us in the fights coming forward. I gave Vespaquin Energy Ball, Stealth Rock, Flash Cannon, and I need to teach it Flamethrower. The Delta Ambipom! We caught all the way back in Suntorch City. In Suntouch City. Ghost Grat, Ghost Normal, I give it the Life Orb, it has Infiltrator. I EV trained it to max out in Attack and Speed. I have it have Fake Out, Shadow Punch, Drain Punch in Return. Gastrodon. I EB trained it in special attack and HP. Has Storm Drain. I gave it Earth Power, Blizzard, Toxic, and Scald. This is going to be our main wall considering we're going to need one for multiple fights coming up. And Delta Rose Rage from the Delta Badu we caught in Utica Library. I EV trained it to max out in special attack and speed. And I used an ability capsule to change its, its ability to Shadow Dance, which admittedly will be uh, completely useless to us in these fights. It's Dark Fairy type. Sludge Bomb, Dark Polish, Dazzling Gleam, and Shadow Ball. I want to make this thing a sweeper. So it can outspeed some Pokemon we're going to need to be dealing with in, in fights coming up. And Cleaver is the exact same with the Choice Scarf and all. I didn't EV train it. I admit I should have. I'm going to put Ambipalm in the lead. I'm going to save my game one last time. Would you like to challenge the Pokemon League? Yes, I would. Okay, because... Oh, that's right. I'm going on easy difficulty. I want to change it. Battle scene on, battle style shift. I am only going to be using it for the first fight. And no fights after. Statue of Cresselia. I'm gonna be right back. I need to figure out which one's which.
Okay, I'm back, and I was on the right track. This is the room I want to go in. Sup, Challenger? I'm Kayla of the Elite Four. I specialize in hard work and harmony. All my Pokemon know their place, and together with my strategy, they'll never lose. So you're Jordan. I'm not one for a lot of talking, so let's get going, you know? Don't take it too personally when you get crushed. Elite Four Kayla would like to battle! She's gonna start off with Smeargold at least level 87 that been or will, the, or will be the uh, highest the level of your highest Pokemon. This is a consistent thing with all the Elite Four members. Smeargold in both easy and normal, it will have the ability Moody with the the with the focus sash, ingrain, quiver dance, form, baton pass. I wanna start with fake out. Fake out and return to get rid of this thing right off the bat. Next out is Scizor. I think it's easy who I'm going to next. Scizor's Bug Steel type, at least level 87. Technician for the ability with the leftovers. Iron Defense, Bullet Punch, Sword Stance, and Baton Pass. Oh no, that's bad. Um Blaziken, fire fighting type! At least level 87 speed boost with the focus sash! Bulk up, substitute, fire punch, and baton pass. Oh no! Oh no! Slowbro, Water Psychic type, at least level 88, own tempo for the ability with the Slowbro Knight. Slack off, Scald, Psy Shock, and Calm Mind. Now has the ability Shell Armor. I am outright terrified of this thing, and I'm honestly happy she sent it out quickly. Because if this thing gets boost from other team members, woo! it will be an unbreakable wall. I also sucked up on a lot of healing items, and I'm probably going to need to toxic solve this thing to even stand a hell of a chance of beating it. Yeah, I bought a lot of revives, a lot of max potions. I'm not taking any risks. Die shock. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Please let the poison take it out. She's gonna heal. No. She didn't heal. That makes me scared. That makes me really, really scared. She could be sending out any one of her Pokemon, and I don't know which one. <clears throat> Mew, because you had the most type coverage. Back at the Scizor, you know what it has. When he hit with Psychic. Um. She's gonna switch. But it also has sword stance, and I don't know if I want to take the risk. I think I'm going to risk it. Against my better judgment, I'm going to risk it. Psychic. Okay, as long- Okay, I don't have many physical attackers. I am fine with it. I'm fine with this. I am fine with this. I am fine with this. I'm not fine with that. I am very not fine with that. I am very, very, very not fine with that. Okay, good, 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 good. It goes down, it goes down. It didn't use anything. I was really scared with Baton Pass, all that. Uh, Sylveon is level 87. Pixelate pretty ability with the leftovers. Um. I'm gonna go with best, but good. Uh, Calm Mind, Sword Power, Hyper Voice, Baton Pass. Uh, 
that's bad. That's very bad. Okay, I'm gonna need to... Blaziken. I don't have anything to do much against this. Um... I'm gonna go out to Mew, I guess. Hope to god it does something stupid. Okay, so whoever's coming out next is gonna have an Omni boost. No or she's gonna keep Blaziken out. Back out the Sylveon, that's scary. I'm gonna go with the Earthquake. Oh god, that thing has plus two and everything. Oh no! I need to hope for a crit, or some- Fuck! That's scary. I'm gonna send out... Ampy Palm, Fake Out? Yeah, Fake Out does a lot of damage. I got hope to outspeed it. Hyper Voice, by Ampy Palm. You didn't stand a chance. That makes me really scared. Who's the fastest Pokemon I've got? If I'm lucky, I don't know what to do. If this doesn't... Okay, Sludge Bomb. Hyper Voice. Yeah, I was screwed. I'm gonna sack Cleaver. Revive Rose Raid. And I hope I can finish it off. No! Damn it! It's poisoned! And if I'm lucky, she won't full restore. She didn't full restore that slow bro. So that makes me wonder if she has any items on easy mode. Because if she doesn't. I'm gonna revive Gastrodon. She doesn't have. Okay, that's good to know. She doesn't have any healing items on the easy mode. I'm gonna revive Rose Raid, so whatever comes out next, I can at least do a lot of damage to. I can hopefully even finish off. Espeon. I need to look something up real quick. Okay. okay. This thing can't touch me. So I can do a lot of damage with Dark Pulse. Blaziken. Damn it. Oh well, Dark Pulse. Down it goes. Out comes Espeon. Jordan defeated the Leap for Kayla. Defeated at last! Astounding! That went much cleaner than I was expecting. Your skills are incredible. I'm very impressed. With your level of talent, I'm sure you could take on the entire Leap form, maybe even the champion. Good luck! I need to heal. <laughs> 
Okay, I have returned, and I also forgot to go off, uh, I also forgot to mention that Espeon's moveset. Uh, Espeon, Psychic Type, at least level 87, Magic Bounce for the ability with the leftovers, uh, Combine, Stored Power, Substitute, and Baton Pass. Okay. I'm gonna save my game. Let's go into the next room. Well, well, well! Now, what do we got here? Challenger, we haven't had one of those in a while, no sir! Name's Edward. I'm an Elite Four member, as you can probably tell. Sand. It's coarse, it gets everywhere, but I love it all the same. Let's get going. You're gonna have to get- you're gonna get shut down so hard, you won't even know it hit you! <coughs> Elite Four Edward! Let's start with the hit power on at least level 88 ground type sand stream for the ability with the leftovers earthquake stealth rock slack off whirlwind we both set up stealth rock and I'm gonna go for the energy ball as long as it doesn't use whirlwind I'll be happy that was the one thing I was hoping huh I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch and finish off Paladon. Why he made that move, I have no idea. Who's coming out next? Cacturn! It is level 9, is at least level 90, Grass Dark type, Sand Bill for the ability. With the Cacturnite, so with the moves, Sword Stance, Seed Bomb, Sucker Punch, and Super Power. Now is Mega Cacturn with Sand Rush. And the dude pulled out a fucking macro vibe. I don't care. It down goes Cacturn. Who's coming out next? Tyranitar! Oh god. Um Tyranitar is rock dark type, level 88, at least level 88. Sandstream for the ability with the choice band. Stone Edge Crunch Superpower and Pursuit. He's probably gonna go for the Stone Edge. Uh, I don't know who to send out. I know I can put a hell of a dent in it with Ice Punch, but I want to keep it alive for later. I'm going to send out Gastrodon. So what? Why did he go for superpower? I mean, that would have. I don't. I'm gonna. You speak out for what? Gonna send back out Hippowdon. Okay, then, um, return. How much is that gonna do? That did a lot of damage. Earthquake, yeah, Ambipom ain't gonna survive that. Ooh, who do I send out now? Um, go Vesperquin. I'm gonna use Energy Ball in the shop that had powered on. Okay, what's he gonna do next? Well, who's he sending out next? Tyranitar again. He's gonna go for superpower no matter what. So I'm gonna go for Mew. Wait, what? Why didn't he go for the superpower? This dude's smart because he's catching me off guard. One shot the, the, the Tyranitar with close combat, and who's coming out next? How am I not surprised? Age of Slash! It is level at least level 89, Steel Ghost type. Stance change for the ability with the moves. 
the weakness policy. With the moves. Shadow Sneak, King Shield, Shadow Ball, and Sacred Sword. I think I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna send out Rose Ray and go for, for my own Shadow Ball. That hit like a champ. I know it's a bit risky with the weakness policy, but I don't really care. Yeah, Sacred Sword, I'm done. Gonna send out Cleaver and go for the Night Slash? Down goes Age of Slash. Who's coming out next? Excadrill, level at least level 89. Sandshra Sand Rush for the ability. With the light bulb, with the moves, earthquake, iron head, sword stance, and sandstorm. I'm gonna send out Vespaquin. Yep. Now give now he's probably gonna predict I'm gonna go for a love. No. That makes me a bit worried. I'm gonna. Fuck, who can I revive? I'm gonna revive a Gastrodon. I, I, I'm surprised it's taken me this long in the fight to even need to use a healing item. This is going very smoothly so far, but this is also an Excadrill. Who is very dangerous. Energy Ball, down goes Excadrill. And I already know what's coming out next. And... Coming out next, Riotum Wash, Electric Water Type, Lisa with 89, Levitate with the Leftovers, Volt Switch, Will O Wisp, Thunderbolt, Hydro Pump. Uh, damn it, that wasn't what I was hoping for, but I know what I can do. I'm gonna send out Gastrodon because you can't touch me. Will-O-Wisp is the only thing you can do to me. You can't use Bullet Switch, you can't use Hydro Pump, you can't use Thunderbolt. He does have a full restore. He does have a full restore. I didn't use it until now. This is very anticlimactic. Why? I shouldn't do more. That did more than 42 damage. Whatever, I can just revive Gastrodon and send it back out. Because, like I said, it can't touch me. It can't do shit to me besides Will-O-Wisp. It doesn't matter how long he stalls me out, I'm gonna take him down eventually. He doesn't have infinite healing items. Unlike me where I have damn near infinite. Also, while I'm just trying to chip this damn thing down, just listen to this music.
Oh, wasn't very long, but it's damn good. I love it so much. Whoa, very, whoa, very nicely done. Well, not bad, not bad at all. You got spirit, kid. You can go far. Best of luck. Definitely need it. Next time on Pokemon Insurgents, we defeat the next two members of the Elite Four. See you guys then.